recently revealed their biggest update to the MacBook Pro in over a decade, and in this video I'll explain what's new. Starting with the display, the previous MacBook Pro came in two sizes, 13.3 inches and 16 inches, but the new model features 14.2 inch and 16.2 inch displays, which are not only larger, but also illuminated by mini LEDs, similar to Apple's $5,000 Pro Display XDR, achieving a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, up from the previous generation's 1,000 to 1 ratio. That means your photos and movies will have much more contrast, achieving an appearance similar to an OLED iPhone rather than a muddy LED MacBook Air. This new technology also allows for higher brightness, increasing from 500 nits to 1000. But there's even more to love about this display, because for the first time ever, Apple's equip a Mac with ProMotion technology, doubling the display's refresh rate from 60 hz to 120, which means animations and scrolling on the MacBook Pro will be twice as smooth. But what might be most impressive is that Apple was able to squeeze all this new technology into a display chassis that's just as thin as the MacBook Air. And when it comes to its overall footprint, the 14.2 inch Pro is only about a third of an inch wider and deeper than the Air, thanks to a 60% decrease in overall bezel thickness. Which brings us to the most controversial aspect of the M1 MacBook Pro, and that is its notch. Just like with the iPhone X, the notch is a divisive design element, but that doesn't change the fact that it's necessary. In order to have a 1080p FaceTime camera with double the resolution, a wider aperture, and a larger image sensor than the previous generation, a notch had to be included to house all those components. And its implementation on the MacBook Pro is actually quite clever. Apple managed to reduce the bezels enough to create space for the menu bar on either side of the notch so that it doesn't obstruct any usable display space. And because the display area still has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you're actually recovering screen space that the menu bar used to take up. Not to mention, the notch disappears when apps enter full screen mode and while watching videos or movies. On the bottom half, Apple's abandoned quite a few signature design trends of the MacBook Pro. Instead of being thinner and lighter than the last generation, these new models are slightly thicker and heavier. But what's even more surprising is that Apple didn't try hiding the extra thickness with a sleek tapered design like the previous MacBooks. Instead, they opted for a boxier design that looks closer to a 2006 model. And while Apple has been removing ports from their notebooks for over a decade, this M1 MacBook Pro reintroduces an HDMI port, SD card slot, and even MagSafe, which features a thinner profile and a woven fabric cable to prevent splitting and fraying. Now, you can still charge over the three included USB-C ports like previous models, but MagSafe offers a fast charging capability, powering the MacBook Pro battery from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes. Something else Apple's abandoned is the touch bar, which has been replaced by a traditional row of function keys. Now, before the touch bar, these keys were narrow to accommodate the product's smaller chassis, but thanks to the M1 MacBook Pro's slightly larger footprint, there's enough space to make the function keys full size, allowing for a more comfortable typing experience, especially if you use the escape key often. The keyboard itself is completely black, in an effort to make the keys blend seamlessly into the enclosure while also drawing attention to the backlight instead of the aluminum border. There's also a new six-speaker system that goes half an octave deeper than before while delivering 80% more bass. It's also capable of spatial audio, which makes it really feel like there are speakers on your right and left sides, in addition to in front of you, resulting in an audio experience I've never heard from a notebook before. The microphones have also been updated to a 3-mic array that features a 60% lower noise floor and directional beamforming, so your voice can be isolated from any ambient noise. Now, let's talk about what's inside. The M1 Pro and M1 Max are the latest Apple-designed chips that deliver high performance with low power consumption. Featuring 2-4 to four times speedups compared to the 16-inch Intel MacBook Pro, all while staying cooler and quieter than before, thanks to less heat being generated, and a new thermal system that moves 50% more air even at low fan speeds. 
The 14 and 16 inch M1 MacBook Pros come in space gray or silver and start at $2,000. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.